Hello YouTube and welcome back to this brand new C Sharp tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is continue working on our inventory system and we're going to look at something called tags today and it's really really simple concept to get around. So the first thing I'm going to do is when you start it you present it with a login screen right? Well I'm going to speed up the process of testing just by changing that login screen slightly. So where are on our code on our login screen if we double click it you can see here it says if the username equals YouTube and the password equals videos well what we can do is just automatically put these in so if you click it and go to text here yeah look at that brand new so you put it in text there and then go to form one again and get the password so videos and if you put it back in text again paste it there you can see that it's automatically in there by default so as soon as we start the game we can just click submit and it speeds up the process even easier so we've got our character here so what we do is when we come down here with our character and collect this thing here boom it adds it up there look really easy so what we need to do now is add multiple fruit and give it the ability for us to have multiple slots and if there's no slots it doesn't delete it really simple so what we're going to do is first look at tags so if we click this apple here you will see that it has a tag if you click the character it has a tag progress bar everything has a tag and all the tag is is a column for strings so you know words and numbers in which you can store something so if you click it and read it here it says user defined data associated with the object in layman's terms and if you don't know what that means it means in simple terms it simply means put something there you want to remember so something we could put there would maybe be the apple or the name of the apple really simple right so in tag we could just put apple you could even use the name if you like, but I'm going to use the tag. So what I'm going to do is on the tag is I'm going to put in the there what it means. So what the object is. So that's a apple. So if I were to put a banana on, I call it banana. Really simple. So what I'm going to do is copy this apple and just paste it here again, right there. Boom. So I can put it up there, and all we're going to do is come back across here, and where it says picture box one, I'm going to call it apple underscore o two, just like that. And in the tag, I'm going to call it apple. It's that simple. It's the same thing. And with this first apple, I'm going to call it, instead of apple, I'm going to call it apple underscore one. So we've got apple one and apple two. Just like that. So, really simple done so far. The next step is to make it. So when we collect it, it not only just puts it in the first one, it moves along. Because at the moment, if we were to click play and go and collect it, like so you will see that when I collect it it only adds it to the first one and when I collect the second one it doesn't do anything so we need to make sure it all works so what we're going to do is go back to our game script just by double clicking anywhere and you'll get the, our script here so I'll zoom in there so what we can do is down here just like we made this extra function here we can make another one so if we go down here and type private or public whichever you like void the difference between private and public private will only be able to use between this brace here and that brace there public would mean you'd be able to use it in every level and we pretty much want to use collisions at every level don't we so if we have many levels you can use it and same again with the inventory we want to add it to inventory so public void and we'll call it add to imv add to inventory and then in the brackets we're going to put something which i don't think i've discussed yet called Func um, parameters not functions parameters and you see where it says here public void private void game key down so we but we all know when you press a key down on the main form it activates this but then it's got two things in the brackets which are called parameters so this one doesn't have one these ones don't that does that doesn't the one we created doesn't that one doesn't and that one does and this one and that one up here are the same kind of they've got a little bit different so object sender here it means it creates a variable type of an object and that's just pretty much anything so you've got your button you've got your picture box it's just object it doesn't say what it is yet it could be a picture box it could be a button it don't matter and the sender means whatever sent it 
So how did it get to this function? So we know from here it's the game form. So in this object, the game form stored it. Same as here, game load. The uh, the sender what loads this function is called the game. It's that. The next two we've got is key event args, which stands for arguments, and event args e here. So it creates a new variable of key event args or event args, and it names it key or e. So what you can do with this is key here, it will tell you whatever key you've pressed. So if you press A, it will report A. And event args here tells you what event loaded. So it's load here. So say for as an example you wanted to say um, stop it loading or if you wanted to say if it reloads it for a second time that will store it in there. So it's pretty much the same with here. In here it tells you what key you've pressed really simple. So what we're going to do is add our own parameters here. So when we call add to inventory, we want to transfer from this collisions in here the image, the object, so apple1, whichever was hit. So we're going to transfer it. So in here, because we're all our objects or items are picture boxes, we're going to type picture box and we're just going to give it a variable name of item, like so. And I'm going to spell it right, like so. And you'll see it highlight There. So, if we were to call add to inventory there, just like we did there, so if we, above this, where your bracket is for adding the apple, we type add to inv, bracket, bracket, enter, we'll get an error, like so. And it's basically saying you need to add, it, it says there, no overload for method I am add to inventory, it takes zero arguments. Basically, that means it doesn't take zero arguments. If you look above, it takes at least one argument or parameter, which is there. So we need to add it. So what we're going to add, we're going to add Apple 1 right there. And because Apple 1's a picture box, it allows it. So now when it comes down here and we collide with the Apple 1, it'll read it there and put it here. Really simple, right? So now in here, what we basically need to do is take away, if I just zoom out a minute and zoom back in, when we hit that Apple, we need to make it the tag of this one equal apple, but we also need to make it equal the image which we hit, right? So, it's really simple to do. So what we're going to do first is come down here, and when it says add to inventory, we first need to check the first inventory here to see if it's got a tag. Well, this one hasn't, none of them has. So what we can do is here, is type if imv01 dot tag equals equals blank and the way you specify blank is you can either put uh, sorry about that either put two empty speech marks which means nothing or you can put null null means absolutely nothing whatsoever no space nothing the exact same you know nullify so in that if the tag equals nothing it means it's got nothing in it so let's add to it correct so we're going to set imv underscore o one dot image equals are you ready item dot image so the picture box we transferred so whatever we hit it transfers it down here is it blank yes add it to it then the last thing we've got to do is set the tag on imv one to say you've been taken up so imv one dot tag equals item dot tag that's simple right so if we were to collect it at the moment, it'll still add it there, whether it's full or not. So we're going to take out this line here where it says IMV01 image. Take that out, but keep the top in. In fact, we can change it also. Instead of putting it there, we can put it here. So type item.top equals 2000. Just like that. So now, when we hit Apple 1, it adds it to the inventory. That simple, right? Easy. Easy peasy. So... We'll try it just to make sure it works. So I'll just skip ahead until it's loaded. Quick thing I just saw, it says there, Apple 4, 1. Just get rid of it so it says Apple 1. Yeah. So I'm back on. So you can see we've got nothing in our inventory. And our character needs to collect it. Almost collected it. And you can see nothing happens because we have an error right there. So we need to find out what that error says. So the error we got was really, really simple but kind of... Yeah, it's a dodgy one. But basically it's saying here, the tag what's currently in place 
is absolutely nothing. It's not even an empty string. It's beyond an empty string. It's non-existent, basically. It's saying the answer to this is basically the same as creating. Have we created a variable yet? No, we have not. Yeah. But basically, it means nothing. Simply replace the quotation marks with null, and it'll work. It's that simple. It's been a bit picky there, really, because most programming can just pick up on that. But basically, um, the tag, when it was set and created, it's not been set to tag equals blank quotations. It's been set to nothing. It's just tag. So it needs to be set to something. You can either do that first, or you can just say null. It still works. I'm still editing. There we go. So if you come down here, let me just show you the code again. Null. Come down here, collect it, and you will see it adds it. So we need to work on our number two apple now. Really simple. So what we're going to do is right here, if play dot bounds apple sex with apple one, we're going to copy this. I'm still running, so click close, copy it, paste it right below, and just like we did for the movement, we're going to change it to else if. So if it finds this, don't search for this. Either so, either so, it makes it speed up quicker. Apple 2, just like that, and we're going to add Apple 2. So obviously we didn't call it Apple 2, or it's messed up. Did we really call it Apple 02? So I'm going to call this one to Apple 01 then, because apparently we named it wrong. So Apple 02 and Apple 02. Boom. Easy, so it'll come down here, and if it doesn't equal that, we need to make it add it to something else, don't we? Really simple again. I'm going to do it once, then I'm going to skip and show you the end. So I'm going to copy the entire if to there, and the reason I copy one above is because then you can click there and paste it. Easy. So you're going to paste the exact same thing, change it to an else, change it to the next inventory, and keep changing it to the next inventory. Like so. That's it. Yes, so I'm going to skip to the end, do it to come back so it saves time. So I'm back and it's all done. Look, as you can see, inventory, 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 inventory. So if we were to run it, we should be able to click one apple, add it, and then it should add the second apple to the other place. So when we collect this top apple, it will add it to the first one. When we click the second one, it'll add it to the second one. Boom. Easy. So if we add more fruit, which we could just generally do. So you're going to copy a fruit, paste it, rename it to apple or whatever it is, the next number. you got to have it numbers because unlike Unity, if you ever used it, you can't have two of the same things named. So it's called tag apple again. Then we're going to go back to our code right here. Copy, paste, apple 3, apple 3. That simple. So now we can go and collect it. Eventually, we're going to make something cooler. But, I mean, uh, instead of copying and pasting every time, we collect one, we collect two, and we collect three. And with our three apples intact, that I will bid you farewell.